Verona, Italy, most famous for being a setting for William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. This city has so much to offer for a travel destination. Here is my top 10 things to do in Verona. Let's go. First on the list is to visit Juliet's balcony. This is probably the most popular attraction here in Verona. If you wish to enter the house of Juliet and step foot on the famous balcony, it will cost six euros per person. <laughs> For an extra euro, you can visit Juliet's tomb, located beneath the Corso Monastery. The tomb is much quieter than Juliet's house and is also a nice place to cool off from the midday sun. Next is the Verona Arena. This amphitheatre was built by the Romans 2,000 years ago and is one of the most well-preserved of its kind and is still used to this day for concerts, operas and shows. Look at this, epic. So if you actually come here to watch a show, these steps here, these are where you're going to be sitting. And they're really old, they're like the original steps that people used to come and watch shows back in the day. It's so cool. <laughs> Don't miss out on having a drink at one of the bars next to the arena. Yes, you'll pay more for the drinks than you would elsewhere, but in my opinion, it's worth having one just for the view. And that is the view as I drink my beer. It's worth paying seven euros for a pint when you got the view like that. If you want the best view of the city, you need to climb the Torre di Lamberti. Tickets cost six euros per person. You could take the lift all the way to the top, or you could do what we did and take the steps. Wow, look at that. It's cool, isn't it? That was a workout, wasn't it? Beautiful city, isn't it, babe? Worth the walk. At number five is to visit the Basilica of San Zeno Maggiore. This basilica has amazing internal architecture, and also the crypt was the place of the marriage of Romeo and Juliet. today it's literally 38 degrees right now and we gotta wear these rags because I've got a vest on and it's disrespectful number six is to go on a wine vineyard tour and tasting experience for only 20 euros per person, you can get a full tour of the vineyard and they explain in depth how the grapes are grown and processed into wine. 15%, I've never seen a 15% wine anywhere. 15%? Yeah. No. Most I've seen is 14%. After the tour, you'll be given various glasses of their wine to try. And if you like it, you can buy it in the shop. And it makes a great souvenir to take home. Do you like your wine? I like this one though. They're worth doing. Yeah, it's really good. Bread and wine, beautiful scenery, companies, whatever. Then, uh... I'm not going to lie, I do feel a, bit, a little bit tipsy after that. Do not visit Verona without coming to Ceremione on Lake Garda. Just a 25 minute drive from Verona is this beautiful town. You'll easily spend the day here relaxing on the beach and getting lost down its many streets. What a cool little spot. What a beautiful little town this is. It's gorgeous. Surrounded by coastline, this town offers up some of the best beaches on Lake Garda. One of those beaches is called Jamaica Beach. Yeah, it is so nice sitting here. 
shame about the wind, but apart from the wind, this this side of the island isn't actually that bad. Look at that though, look at the view. Epic. It's gorgeous. By far, the best place to watch sunset in Verona is Panorama San Pietro. This overlooks the city from a stunning vantage point, and when the sun sets, you'll be blessed with the best views of this magical city. Beautiful view of Verona. the best till last and that is to eat at my favourite restaurant in Verona. This place serves up some of the best food in the city with great service and the restaurant has the best view of Verona. You paid for the view didn't you? Yeah, and a bloody fantastic meal. Absolutely brilliant place to go into Verona. You must go to this place because you'll see a fabulous view and have a fabulous glass of wine and pizza. Wow. What a beautiful city, isn't it, baby? The moon. I know. It's so clearly. It's gorgeous, isn't it? What a way to end the day in Verona. What did you say earlier? Fat and shattered. Fat and shattered. Overdose on pizza and wine and potatoes. <laughs> well, that's my top 10 list for Verona. Before you go, here are a few travel tips. First is I'd highly recommend renting a car. Uber doesn't operate in Verona and taxis are very expensive. You can expect to pay 30 euros for a 10 minute ride. Public transport isn't the most reliable either, so I definitely recommend renting a car. There's plenty of car parks in great locations in the city. Secondly, don't go to Simeone on the weekend. It gets so busy and crowded, parking will be almost impossible. If you do visit on the weekend, be sure to arrive before 9am to get a spot. If you guys have any questions, just follow me on Instagram and send me a message and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on the next one. Arrivederci.